Well, welcome back, guys, to Heavy Hauling. Today, we got a Peterbilt. I'm in the biggest equipment I've ever hauled. This thing weighs about 70, 60, 70 tons. Not too sure exactly. I probably should know. So it's a Volvo L350H. And today, we're heading up to the gold mine. We're going to try and get this, this big cat up there. We have the huge coal bucket on it. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. This thing, this thing's huge. We're going to try and sneak out of town. I got the Peterbilt 359 short frame. Probably should have got the long frame with the buddy axles, but he can't win them all. She's looking good. And this trailer we got. Oh, hey, there's a plane going overhead. There we go. Let's wave to him. Hey, how's it going, partner? There he is. Maybe it'd be cool if he dropped off like a little care package or something. That would be nice. But check it out, guys. I don't even really know what this trailer is, but I know it's got a lot of wheels, a lot of axles, and it can hold a heck of a lot of weight. We should actually count them all. So right here's 8, 16, another 16. So what is that? That's 32. Plus another 16. What was that? 40, 48 plus two spares. I guess we got 50. We got 50 tires underneath this big cat. I mean, I didn't count the semi too, but just the trailer itself. Let's try and get this backed up. Like I said, we're going to try and get out of town in, in insane heavy hauling. If you guys like trucking heavy hauling the Peterbilt, I think it's really cool. Make sure to smash the like button. We're heading to, we're going to be mining some gold too. So we aren't just trucking today. We'll try and get this sucker out to the gold mine here. All right. She's hooked up. I better do my pre-flight test here. Make sure I kick all the tires. Make sure there's air in her. Hooked up, ready to go. Connections are good. Got to do my pre-trip. We're good here. All right, everything's looking good. Flags are out. Looks like they might be scraping on the ground a bit, but we should be fine. Oversized load, spare tires, kick these. All right, all right, all right. We're in business, boys. We're looking good. Now, the nice thing about this trailer is when we take corners, it really helps me out because there's no way out ever ever be able to make it out of here before we get on our way guys i want to give a quick shout out to g portal there's a link in the description to five percent off g portal's dedicated servers that's what i play that's what i do on this game that's how i play with a bunch of friends all at the same time if you guys play farm sim or honestly any other game that g portal supports i really recommend their dedicated servers if you play with a lot of people so in the description five percent off let's get towing i right, better wait wait before i pull out in front of a big old semi truck flying over here all right, that guy's pulling. Oh gosh, there's the train. We better not go. All right, here's my my little dilemma. It, you know, I'm 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 gonna have to take the back roads. We'll see here. All right, once this red car goes by, let's take off here. Should be able to make that. All right, there's no way. I wonder if I make this turn. What's nice, like I said, is the trailer helps out a bunch. You can tell it helps me make super wide turns without destroying anything. All right. We're going in the bushes for a little bit. All right, looks like we got some company here. He 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 laid on his horn a little bit. I I gave him the old, give him the old wave. We're gonna make the tracks. Okay, hopefully the train doesn't come by. But check out the trailer back there, guys. You can see our back support is actually like waiting to straighten out for us. So that's pretty cool. It helps us out a bunch and lets us make these crazy turns. I'll show you it right here. Okay, here comes the guy. Gosh dang it. I I should probably have a uh, a little bit of an S. Okay, well come on, big cat. You gotta turn your blinker. The guy didn't even turn his blinker on. All right, here we go. I'll show you guys this one. Might have just destroyed that sign. Might take out the stops. Oh, we're taking out the signs. All right. But check it out. It's pretty cool. It does help me, though. There's some of these turns. All right. We're cruising for a brilliant biscuits that semi truck or that cement truck almost took our mirrors off boys that was a close one but we're in the peterbilt 359 she's a beast we're climbing up some of these big old cats and i think my merge i'm gonna merge here okay at the bottom of the hill cool cool, cool. i better uh take her easy get off the throttle here good the good thing about the peter is she's it slows down like really quick the, the engine brake on it is is lovely it's it's very nice here i'll show you guys how quick i can slow down here there we go no brakes and she she stops on the dime i literally got 70 tons behind me all right here we go trying to okay i'm taking out the stop sign that's all right stop sign's gone try not try to leave the other sign all right trailer do your thing come on oh come on gosh i wish it wouldn't uh i wish i had like remote controls on it or something it for sure is way better than any other trailer all right look at that okay maybe i see i see i probably don't even have to go that wide honestly i think what it is the intersection just needs to be bigger oh did i miss my turn no it's up here okay the intersection needs to be probably a little bit bigger i just can't make it but i don't think i need to swing as wide as i have i do for as long as i do all right we're over the tracks we're good we're looking good and then down around here around this bend i believe i gotta hang a left we should be good to go but I'm liking the Peterbilt. I do like the TLX 9000. That is, uh, that's probably still my favorite truck. But here's the on ramps. We're heading, uh, we're heading east. So we got to take this left right here. All right, boys, here we go. Got the blinker on. We're making the turn. Make sure, make sure no hooligan is trying to pass me. 
as I'm going. All right, we're taking out some signs. And we're taking out multiple signs. Can't win them all. The like, gosh dang light post. We, we might as well leave the light post. See, this is where it gets tricky. It's right there. I want the trailer to keep going. See, and then we can make the corner. It's just the trailer itself is so long. All right, boys, we're in a little predicament, a little dilemma, if you could say here. But we, we might have bottomed her out. I might have swung a hair too far, and now we're in the ditch. We bottomed out. That probably wasn't the smartest thing. Now, looking, we already cleared the pole. I probably should have cranked it to the left a little sooner. I don't know if that would have saved us. But honestly, it's pretty cool how these uh, how the trailer works. I really like it a lot. It works good, but some of the roads we're on, it's just not suited for it. And right now, I might might be able to pull her through. I don't know if the thing's spinning my tires back there. Thinking, uh, I might have to detach, and then we'll have to get the Volvo off. It's tough, boys. It's tough sledding out here. Tough making a buck. It's not easy. We're trying to get on the interstate, and the the people who built this didn't didn't really accommodate for uh, for large loads like us. But I'll figure it out here. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Jump in the Volvo. Maybe tear up some concrete. No, I'm joking. We don't need to tear up the concrete. I might accident. I might accidentally though go through the bushes here. Might get some scratches on our new on our new wheel loader. But I'm gonna gently, gently just push the deck a little bit to the left, and I think we'll be good. Here we go. Come in. Just give her a little kiss like this. There we go. And go, 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 go. I think we're good. And I think. Let's look. Let's look. Did I hurt the pole? Okay, we aren't actually hitting the pole. And I wonder when I pull, when I when I hook up and drive out, will we hit the pole? I don't think we will. I think the end of the trailer stays like that for a long time. I think we should be good. Hopefully, there's no cameras here to catch us destroying some uh, some signs. Probably chipping up the concrete a little bit, but hey, you can't win them all. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do here. All right, we're hooked up. Oh yeah, check it out. Oh, are we still bottoming out? No way. Okay, maybe there's something in here, but check it out. We aren't rubbing on the pole. What are we rubbing on? I think that the, it's just such a slopey uh, and it's such a long trailer. All right, and we're off. We're looking good. Wheel loader might have shifted a little bit through all that trauma, and we're, we're on the road. This is where we need to be. This is where we need to be. I think I probably should have had some uh, some escort vehicles, but like I said, you can't win them all. It's not easy making a buck, but I'll see you guys once we get closer to our job site, and we'll get her unloaded, and we'll get to work mining some gold. Eee! All right, guys, and we're about five, ten minutes away. We're coming down a nice gradual hill. The Peter Wolf's been running good. I think we've actually been getting pretty good fuel mileage for the circumstances compared to just what I thought we would. So we're almost there. We're going to load the wheel loader. 70 tons coming off the trailer. That's going to a lot of weight coming off the old shoulders there. We should wrap around this, this hill, follow the water. Here we go. Let's test out the old Jake brake. Slow down here on the bend. Got a little hill climb here. The old Peter Belt. She's maxing out at 52. We'll see if once we get on the flats. Yep, there we go. We shift the gear. We're cooking. Good luck. And there we go. Okay, 60 mile an hour. I should probably slow her down. We're catching the old cement trucks up there. Okay, I think we're taking a left here super soon. And then we'll get her unloaded. Yeah, let's, let's slow her down. There we go. What are these guys going at? They, they're going pretty slow. All right, so, uh, left right here. Perfect. There we go. Let's turn on the old blinker. Hang a left. Here we. Uh, yeah. Now we have. I guess we have that one stop sign. But I don't even think. I mean, I might. Okay. I smoked the stop sign. It's. Uh, it's a lot easier getting in here now. We'll have a lot of room because they run. They run big equipment around here. So we should. Oh. Let's jump on the scale. Okay, let's go in here. All right. How should I do this? I wonder. Wonder how this is gonna work. It looks like the wheel loader shifted a little bit again. All right. What do we got for numbers? Ah. Uh, we got a hundred thousand pounds so 50 tons right there now i wonder if i move forward the weight's gonna shift or there we go it will shift to seventy one thousand. okay the weight's coming 52 oh no we got hung up on the sign all right this isn't that easy getting out here that gosh dang sign i need to get closer to the cement here yeah almost rub the rubber on her and we're clear there we go big cats all right looking good dang those got some pretty cool Toyota's there. They got some uh, Tacomas, but anyway, they're like off-road. They got cool lights and everything. All right, these are the kind of roads I'm used to. Wide open, literally can't hit anything, and we should be good, but here we go. We're coming down here, and I think I take a left. All right, and I think I'm going to load right here because it, it just gets too... Uh, it, it's dirt past. Don't even know if we're going to get back up. Like I said, we're going to bottom out just because it's so slant and so steep. So we are officially here, and we're going to get... We're gonna get mining. We're gonna get di uh, digging for some, digging for some gold. And try and get to the bottom, and we're gonna see what we can get with. Almost might have been easier to drive this the whole way down. It goes 26 mile an hour. That's pretty quick. But anyway, let's jump down here and get mining. And we made it down here. I'm gonna get loading up both these loaders here. 
And we're going to see what this bucket can do. It holds 24,000 liters, which is way more than all the other buckets. This is actually a coal bucket, they call it. And I believe they use it to, to um, for probably a lot of things, but I think they probably would use it. And I'm, I'm actually just guessing that they would use it to uh, load cargo train carts. And so that I, I think coal coal's maybe not that heavy where they can... Um, maybe not that heavy as like let's just say like wet dirt or something so you can have a really big bucket and maybe not as tip as much I, i'm not gonna act like i know what i'm talking about but that's kind of my guess because in the game they, they call this a a coal bucket so pretty interesting here we go we're unloading this for some reason only unload so much at a time here the the wheel loader is a beast it's way bigger than our other one it's way heavier duty so we can we can use this big bucket and it doesn't it doesn't tip or anything Gosh, I wonder why maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I have it angled wrong, but it only unloads so much and we might Yeah, I was gonna say we are not full I'm gonna clean up some of my spillage here There we go and get a big old scoop here what I need to do is get hiring a bunch of guys so we can do this. Uh, oh, okay. Now it's unloading I wonder why it didn't unload first but I need to get some employees so we can really run this operation start making a bunch of gold But that is the that this is the Volvo in action I think after this bucket we should have I don't think even half this bucket It'll take half this to fill up. There we go and we're full so that's the Volvo in action It was a big heavy load today I'm gonna take this up and get some dirt moving Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of some heavy hauling If you did make sure to smash like button if you haven't already and I'll see you all in the next one